Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the editing functionality. And from the last video, if you still remember, we worked with the delete functionality so that when we hit this delete button over here, we are simply going to go ahead and get rid of a user from the database. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and work with editing. So when we come over here and add a new student and simply hit the edit button, it's going to fill in all their information over here. And we're going to change whatever we want to change. Let's say you want to change the email or the full name or the major and hit enroll students then it's simply gonna um, alter the record of the database and save it to the database also so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video to make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me okay so what we simply want to do now is just head back to our code and um, I'm simply gonna create you know we can actually create the the views or we can um, create the Ajax first but I recently I like I love creating the views firstly before we go ahead and start working with Ajax so let's why not do that so let's go ahead and do it again so I'm simply gonna come over here and I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna get rid of that slash and I'm gonna say slash edit student and our uh, edit student what we're simply gonna pass in there is request now what do you think we, okay I think there's a problem this isn't what I want to do I'm, I'm simply gonna come over here and um, I'm, say, I'm gonna say define edit student and what I want to do is this CSRF exempt thing CS RF exempt yeah that's what I want to do I'm gonna give this a little bit of space at the top and down here this is what we want to do so we're simply gonna get an ID but before we get an ID we want to check if request the method is equal to post so we'll be doing this and you remember the way we get a type in Ajax don't worry if you've forgotten that's what we're gonna be treating in this video so don't freak out now the next thing we're gonna do is simply go ahead and create uh, a variable ID and this ID we're gonna assign it to request.post.get and what do we want to get we simply want to get PK should be equal to ID so I think I think there is something that's missing over here there is something that's missing we want to actually get SID over here rather than um, then uh, we want to get the particular students that we are about to edit so we're gonna say students should be equal to student which we got which you define in the model dot objects dot object which is a command that's gonna you know you know filter or get all or find student by one whatever but this one we simply want to get student by one so we're gonna say students of the objects dot get and what do you think we're gonna do we're gonna get a student by pk so we're gonna say pk should be equal to id as simple as that and now the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, pass this in into the json so you remember what we did over here that's the same thing that we're gonna do so we could either just copy this and just this code over here um, I explained it from the upper video so in case you don't understand what's going on the mission to check out um, the other videos in the series and trust me they are really really entertaining and fun so I'm gonna push this to actually um, okay that's where it's supposed to be now let's go through this code again and make sure that everything is looking perfectly well now this is what I want to do so I simply said student data now for student data we need to actually assign this accordingly okay so this is the first thing we're gonna do I'm gonna get rid of the values I'm gonna get rid of the values and for the student data follow along with what's gonna happen now now this is it so you simply want to open up um, a dictionary like this and the first keyword that we're gonna pass in is the ID so what is the ID gonna be the ID is simply gonna be student the ID so the student that we got over here that's the ID of the student. As simple as that. Now, what do you think the next thing is going to be? The next thing is the name. So I'm going to say the name should be what? Student.name. So student.name. And uh, the next thing is going to be the email. So I'm going to say the email should be equal, no, not equal to, but should be should be a colon of student.email. And finally, you guessed it, major. And the major is simply going to be student.major major so as simple as that I think everything is gonna work perfectly well if we are going on the right path like this so the next thing we want to do is simply go ahead and return the JSON response just as we did over here but this one I'm gonna get rid of this so I'm gonna get rid of this that you saved and um, student data pipe student data not pipe but a colon and hopefully everything is gonna work fine now for the else we think we still need to do something if nothing happened we're gonna say Mm, we could say status not edited or something like that you, can, you just go in and you just go ahead and pass in whatever you want to pass in now I'm gonna come over to the urls.py and we want to create a new URL just like we'll be doing for other videos and I'm, this one is gonna be called edit student I'm gonna change this delete over here to edit 
and uh, as you all know this name over here is simply what we're going to be using in Ajax simple as that so I'm going to copy this name over here and I'm going to come over to index.html and uh, we're going to create a new one now this new one is going to be called you guess the right we're going to be saying something like um, editing student just like that editing a student and um, to go ahead and start writing this code it's going to be way easier now this is what we need to do we simply need to do some couple of things before we go ahead and start um, writing down the code now this is the first thing we need to do at the top over here at the save data function um, I'm simply okay this is supposed to be in the views.py take note of that now there is there is a function called save student or save data whatever you called it now at the top of above request.pose dot get this one that gets the, the name I simply want to get something so this is what we want to do we're simply gonna say SID should be equal to request dot post dot get now what do we want to get we want to get stu ID as simple as that now we got stu ID and um below below this major over here there is something I want to check I want to check if the SID is equal to an empty string then I want to go ahead and do something so I'm gonna say if SID like this is equal to empty then we want to do something and what we want to do is quite easy we're just gonna say students so there's gonna be a variable students over here but since I'm already using student let's let's just change this but actually you know what we could do is this I'm gonna get rid of all this print statements that we have over here and uh, I'm just gonna change all this up so I'm gonna put this in here like this I'm gonna come over here and put this in there okay so this is the first thing I want to do now if the student ID is equal to an empty string um, what do we want to do actually we could just go ahead and still assign all this students blah 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 thing to the to the if statement but we are not gonna save it now for the moment we're gonna save is gonna be in the else so we won't say else over here and um, this is where we now need to save and make sure make sure that you fix your indentation so that everything looks good like this and um, I think this is this is where everything is gonna work out now so if SID is equal to empty string then that's when we we'll save else we don't save anything okay now in order to get SID what we want to do is quite easy and let me actually look at my terminal and hopefully it's still running um, I'm gonna run the server again okay I think I need to CD into DA PRJ and I'm gonna run the server again and hopefully there is no error in the views.py and um, yeah as you can see there is no error in the views.py so now this is working perfectly well let's get back to the index.html and I want to simply hop over to the form so in this form over here I want to add another input field and uh, this input field that I'm gonna add okay it's not in this form it's supposed to be in the other form this one over here now I'm gonna add an input field and this one is gonna be hidden because I, I don't actually want to show anything over there and um, we need to give it an ID of SID okay okay so in here we're going to give an ID and this ID we're going to call it student ID and there's also going to be a name and this name we're going to call it student ID so this ID for the name for the ID and student ID for the name that's where we that's what we are getting over here in the in the views.py okay so after this I think that's pretty much what we want to do so for the last step we need to go ahead now and start writing out the Ajax code and this one is going to be pretty easy so hop over to index.html and we are just going to go down to where we've been writing the Ajax code and uh, just below here that's where we'll be writing the code so the first thing we want to do is as usual you know we've been getting t-body so we're going to get t-body again and t-body like this then we need to say dots on and what we what we're looking for is click so we want to know when the edit button is clicked and you remember from the last video what we called the edit button was btn dash edit and there's going to be a function and um just like this we need to console log edit button is clicked so edit button is clicked just like this and let's go ahead and try this out and hopefully it's going to work but before that i want to make sure that the that the btn edits button actually exists so btn edits we've got one we've got two and here yeah, that's it so i'm simply gonna come over here now i'm gonna come over to my browser and i'm gonna refresh this as you can see it's working well i'll just open up my my console 
and click on the edit button so what do you notice it says edit button is clicked edit button is clicked now i want to add a couple a couple or more students i'm going to add this one and i'm also going to add another student and um, when i hit the edit button as you can see it's, it says edit button is clicked for all of them and um and so on and so forth delete let's see it's actually still deleting okay so now let's go ahead and write the main code for the edits so for this one we simply want to define a variable id and we're gonna say let's id be equal to dollar then we're simply gonna say this and you know this is what we did from the last video dot it's attributes then the attribute that we're getting is the what is the data sid so hopefully you understand everything that's going on now with the data sid i explained this thoroughly from the last video as you can see for the edit button we've got this data sid that's simply getting the students.id so why are we getting the students.id that's because when we click on one of those buttons over here we don't want to go ahead and delete all the students from the database but we just want to delete the students that we are getting their id okay so that's why we are using the data dot data dash sid thing so in the in the ajax dots in the ajax um section where we are writing now we get this and um after this what's the next thing we're supposed to do the next thing we're supposed to do now is go ahead and um i think we can set my data is equal to i'm just gonna come over here and i'm gonna say my data so i'm gonna say my data is equal to sid and we're simply gonna pass in id over there so one more thing that i want to do is this i just want to go ahead and console log id so i'm just gonna console log um i'm, I'm first gonna say this is the id this is the id and over here i'm just gonna pass in id i'm gonna come over here and pass in id so now when we get back to our website and refresh i'm gonna just click on one of those buttons over here and what do you notice it says that the id is 47 and what do you notice the id is 48 and so on and so forth and if we add a new user and click and roll student and click on this one the id is 50 so as you can see it's getting all this asynchronously now we are sure that everything is going to work fine so after defining my id the next thing we need to do is just also define my this and this should be set to um we can set this to um this okay just like we did before as you can see this is what we did over here so i'm just going to copy this and um I'm gonna paste it down there okay so after we've done this the next thing we want to do is just go ahead and start working with the ajax so you could either copy the code from the top or you could write your own code from scratch so i'm gonna just say ajax like this and um, we simply want to open up parentheses then open up braces then over here the first argument is going to be the url so you remember we created a url already for the editing edit students we called it edit slash student so i'm just going to copy this i'm going to come over to the index.html and i'm going to open up django url tag just like this and i'm going to paste that in so the next thing that we're going to be needing is a method so the method type that we're using as you know it's posts and that's what we've been using now finally we also need data so data should be equal to my data that we defined above and then finally i think that's pretty much what we need then we need to go ahead and define a success function so a success function is typically going to look like this and in here we can pass in a, per, a data parameter in here as always you can pass in whatever you want in there so after that in the success function we want to go ahead and um, get the the fields so let me explain what's going on now when i click on this edit i want to get all this field and populate them in here so that's the next thing that we're going to do and this is how we this is how we're going to do it so there's going to be dollar sign i'm going to open up a parenthesis open up a string and i'm going to say hash stu id so stu, student id dot value and uh, in this value that's what that's where we want to pass in data dot id and um, we're going to duplicate this into four more places this one is going to be the name and this one is going to be data that's name this one is going to be the the email this one is going to be data dot email and finally this one is going to be major then it's going to be data dot major okay so i think that's pretty much what you want to do i'm going to look for id of major and hopefully it exists okay as you can see i did major exists yeah that's what i'm looking for so we're simply just gonna get down here and um 
let's see how everything is looking so everything is looking quite nice and um, I think that should be it but there is one more thing that I'd want to add up in the save data my data let's look for this one at the top over here I want to add one more parameter I'm gonna say stu ID should be set to SID okay so just like this stu ID should be set to SID and over here we are definite we definitely still need to get the ID at the top over here so how do we do that so to get the ID we can simply say let's SID be equal to then um, we're just gonna call we're just gonna say dollar and um, that so I think there is an error somewhere I'm gonna put it in again yeah so as you can see it says let SID be equal to dollar STU ID dot value now this SID is simply what we are now using over here okay then from here we are now transferring it to other places in our code so let me come over here now and refresh and hopefully everything is gonna work fine and if we get any error we're gonna go ahead and debug it together so as you can see now we clicked on edit button but it's not actually prefilling it in here so that means there is an error that we need to go ahead and fix so what is the problem and um, looking at my code I actually noticed some bugs that we need to fix so let's start from the views.py firstly um, we can get rid of this it's not necessarily needed you can still leave it don't get me wrong and another thing that I want to get rid of is all this um, braces that we've got over here we're just gonna pass in student data just like that and another thing that we need to do is come over to the top firstly over here we want to pass in ID should be equal to ID should be equal to SID just like this and um, I'm gonna take this student or save and I'm gonna bring it to the back just like that and what else do we need make sure that this SID over here is this one that you're assigning over here now with all this done let's come over to our terminal it's still running now let's come over here and refresh so by refreshing here and we hit edit okay as you can see it's not still prefilling all this in so let's go ahead and see what's what's going on okay so um it wasn't refilling all this so all i had to do was just turn off my server and turn it on again and it gave it a total refresh and now when you hit enter or when you hit edit what do you notice it fills in everything over here now i can change this destiny over here to sam and hit enroll students and uh what do you notice i think nothing is nothing is happening over here as you can see okay it's actually working so as you can see it changed that to sam now i can also hit edit again and um hit edit and i'm gonna change the duncan sam let's say to something else entirely and when you hit enroll students what do you notice jordan ford so everything is working perfectly well i'd say and um i think yeah that's that's going to be it and let me just make all this fill and as you can see now everything is working perfectly well the whole functionality is now um actually working so we can now create new students from here we could um delete students we could edit students and everything is working perfectly well that's gonna be it for this video and maybe in the next one we're gonna go ahead and work with the search all students that's if you guys still want to see any more functionality or if you want to work with logging in and logging out you could just drop a comment in the comment section below and i'm gonna go ahead and continue the series but in the next one we might go ahead and host this on heroku or push it to github so anyone we're gonna be doing i hope i'll see you guys in the next video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing and uh yeah that's gonna be it for now my love peace out